Are you wondering how to add those sweet looking yellow and green subtitles like these to your videos? Then you've definitely come to the right place. And in this video, I'm going to be opening up the curtain and showing you everything under the hood of how me and my team edit, put subtitles and captions on short form videos for our clients to get results like these. These videos are highly engaging, highly edited micro content designed to increase watch time. Watch time is everything, especially once you hook your viewer. It's all about how long you retain your audience. Watch time is one of the two key factors for getting your video viral, no matter what platform it is from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels. It's all about your click through rate and watch time. Think about it. What do these social media giants want? They want their users to click on the videos and watch them to the end. Why? So they can make lots of money by showing you ads their users. So concentrate on these two keys that unlock virality. And one tip I can give you is get rid of your intros. Go directly into your content. Don't start with what's up YouTube or hey, my name is June. They'll jump off quicker than you can say your name and get rid of your outros. Find other creative ways to add your CTAs. You don't want them to jump off because of your long winded CTA. CTA is like if you want to know more about how to create highly engaging content that attracts huge audiences and attracts high quality clients, click the link in the comments or the description box to find out more. Actually, this one, you really should check it out. If you want to make your videos more engaging, stop using those fully automatic captioning apps. It's actually doing your brand a huge disservice. It makes it look cheap and generic. All the things you as a personal brand are trying to avoid. You're trying to look premium and high ticket, and you're really just creating a big gap between what you want to be and what you're coming across as. It takes time to create great visually engaging content. It doesn't have to take one hour or more to create them like what others on YouTube are saying, but you want to first take some time to ideate great content hooks, topics, and script or bullet points, and also either take the time yourself to edit them and make them look good or hand them off to someone like us to save your time and money to do the editing for you and make them look great and sound great as well. On the other hand, if it's taking you more than an hour to edit, put captions on your videos, you're doing something wrong. Then it's either too much pride, wanting everything perfect, which I understand. It's so much easier to do things for others than for yourself. Or you're just wasting time because you never learned how to make your workflow faster by having systems and processes in place to have your work time cut in half. Like using and making your own presets for color grading and audio adjustments, using auto transcribing instead of doing it by ear, like what others on YouTube teach you. You really gotta stop making mistakes with your subtitles and captions, and that's having your text cropped or hidden behind UI icons like the follow, like, comment, or share buttons. And the best way to stop that from happening is by using a transparent safe space PNG like this. This shows you where not to put your text so they don't get cropped or hidden behind things. And this one actually helps you speed up your text coloring by having your color palette overlay on your video editing screen no matter what software you're using. All you gotta do is use your eyedropper tool. And it's as simple as that. Stop using brand colors on your subtitles and captions. One of the biggest mistakes I see with putting captions on subtitles on video is people trying to force their brand colors on their text. It can be really hard to see and just downright ugly. Do you see Alex Hormozzi, Grant Cardone, or Ryan Pineda using their brand colors on the text on their videos? Hell no. It's because they know brand colors and videos are two totally different things. Make them easy to see for people keep the colors bright so they pop off the screen. Keep them simple like yellow, green, and red, and the color codes that we use will be right here on the screen. The real reason why your videos are not getting any views is not because of the algorithm. The only job of the algorithm is to put content in front of users who are most likely to watch them. What that means is, first, the algorithm can't find people who want to watch your videos. Second, it's because you've mastered the art of talking about nothing. Do you enjoy watching videos that talk about nothing? Especially when there's amazing content out there that can teach you to do anything and everything under the sun. So why should the audience watch your video? You're holding back all the good stuff. You hide the most important points so you can sell that to your audience. And honestly, the younger generation, the 16 to 34 year olds who make up more than 50% of their social media users know that and hate that. They can just go to YouTube, TikTok, or Google the answers. If you really want to build trust with a larger market, give them the how. They don't even care about the why. But go ahead and hook them with the topic they care about. Clarify that statement about why it applies to them and why it's important. And give them the exact steps they need to accomplish it. Not general or theoretical, but immediately actionable and winnable. Exactly like I just did here. Your expectations are killing your ability to actually create valuable content that audiences actually want to consume. There are 
are a great many of you that think just because I'm getting my videos edited in this Hormozy style as it's now getting known, my views are going to skyrocket and my brand is going to go viral. I'm going to make boatloads of money. That's not how it works. I know there's editors who promise this and the world. This doesn't turn crap into gold. This is about increasing your average watch time and sometimes one or two seconds can be the difference between 5k views or 50k views and so on. So first, get your content strategy and creation process in order. Give the audience what they want to see. Give them the answers to what they're searching for. Give them the tactical steps to achieve what they want to do and above all, do it without any expectations in return. The best fonts to use for subtitles and captions for micro content are those that are bold, clear, and easy to see from the get-go. Not fonts like stylized scripts or fancy fonts. Audiences need to be able to read it simply. It takes them 3 seconds or less to decide to keep watching your video or to jump off. Don't make it easy for them to jump off your video by using fonts that look cool but is hard to track. Keep it bold, easy, and so easy that they can picture in their heads in the first 3 seconds. And the two best fonts we recommend for text on short form video are the bold font and Montserrat. With a bold font, go to Google, search for the bold font, thefont.com, download it, open it, and install it. And you'll be able to use this font in whatever software you use. Colors on captions are very different from your brand colors. You don't need to use your brand colors on your video text. Being on brand can make more trouble for you than it's worth, especially when it comes to video marketing. Colors on text are really just to make it easier to see and understand. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it thinking, I gotta be on brand. If you want color options, go to Canva Color Generator, click on Create Custom Color Palette, pick up bright color in the color wheel, go to Analogous, and export palette, but if you also want, you can steal my color palette right here, yellow, green, and red. For the custom transparency PNG that also acts as your color palette overlay, you can download it from the link in the description box. If you want engaging subtitles, you gotta have emojis. Emojis help the audience to understand so much easier than what words can. It helps by showing emotion that's sometimes hidden from the audience. And to find them, it might take a bit of time. It took me a while to settle on my 200 or so commonly used static emojis. Go to freepick.com. Always make sure to spell it with a K. Search for emojis under vector art. Click on the ones you want. Download them. Prepare them all in the same size. I prepare mine at 150 by 150 pixels and save them as transparent PNG. Okay, let's do this. Let's have our video from the heaven looking like this to this on Premiere Pro. First, click on the video file, go to Lumetri Color, click Auto. Let's go to Exposure, minus 0.5. Let's go to Blacks, minus 60. Go to Whites, minus 40. Shadows, to minus 20. And Highlights, to 35. And Contrast, to 10. And if you want to do more, you can play around with these settings until you're very happy with them. Make sure to save these Lumetri colors as a preset and new and save. With the selection tool, drag and select every track. Go to effects, go under presets to our new preset, drag it in and check it out. And that's how you do it. Let's have our audio sounding like podcast studio quality. So let's drag and select all the tracks. Go to essential sound. Go under dialogue, under preset to podcast voice. Now what we can do is go to vocal enhancer, go to low tone. Always make sure that you save these presets, save. Graphic equalizer, these are the settings, 13, 11, 8, 5, 2, 2, 3.2, 5, and 6. Once again, save this graphic equalizer, save preset, save. Go under effects, go to hard limiter, drag it in. Let's go to edit, go to limit minus six decibels, save hard limit, save preset. Let's go to compressor, single band compressor, drag it in, edit. Let's go to voice leveler and save preset and what we can do is now drag and select all these tracks go to preset and bring it in our limiter 
single band compressor and vocal enhancer and one other thing podcast voice let's see how this sounds it can be hard to just grand colors for your text. It can be hard to see, as it's downright ugly. You never see people like Alex Hormozzi, Grant. And also, drag and select, go to repair, reduce noise. Let's listen. Just grand colors for your text. It can be hard to see, as it's downright ugly. And there you go. Sometimes it's still shocking to see so many people teaching on YouTube to transcribe the videos by ear or waste money using programs like Descript when you can do it all on Adobe Premiere Pro. All you have to do is go to text, transcribe sequence, leave as is, transcribe. Fix your transcript, take time. Once your script is fine, let's create captions. Go into style none, go to single and create. Click on the subtitle timeline, go to text, go to the bold font, Center align, let's do 90. Zone, center. Let's go to stroke, go to dark. 13, go to shadow, we do seven, eight, and nine. Let's apply this to the rest of the tracks. Okay. Let's save this track style, create style, new style. Press okay. Let's change the hook. Stop using your brand colors for your subtitles. That's a much better hook. Let's bring in our color palette. Expand all the way to the timeline. This is my runaround to having a color palette right on the screen. Click on the text. Let's do stop, fill, go to red. Brand colors, fill yellow, subtitles, fill green. This is the fastest way to get colors on your text. And if you'd like this color palette, transparent safe space PNG, check the link below where you can download it. Let's make these pop. Let's drag this down and let's make this smaller. Let's go to 86 and let's bring it down a little bit. Bring it over to the left. And there we go. Go to the next one. It can be hard to see. Let's click it. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Bring this up. A little down. To the left. Hard to see. Let's make the, uh, the hard. Yellow, and then C is green. And let's do green a little bit bigger. Let's do 142. And then for that, let's do the eyes. And let's drag it over. This is black screen, so we go to effects. We go to Luma key, bring it over. Go to the effects controls. Go to threshold and bring it to five. Make it smaller. Bring it down. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That's good. Go back to. Let's scale this down. Make this faster. Let's do 180. And make this double click. Let's make this smaller or bigger. That's fine. Let's bring it up across and downright ugly. Click that, make it, let's make this yellow. And let's do a face palm. This is the green key. So we want to use the ultra key. 
bring it over, go to the effects controls, go to alpha channel, use the eyedropper tool, click the green, go back to composite and scale it down to where you want it. And let's also make this faster. Let's delete that. Let's make this faster. Go to speed duration and let's make it 185. Then make this smaller. Oops, spelled it wrong. Or mozi. Let's make this actually smaller. Let's change the color for Alex Hormozzi to yellow. Let's change Grand Cardone. Bring it up. A little bit down. And let's change this to green. And Ryan Pineda. Let's change this to red. All that's left is for us to export this video. But before we do, if you're open to learning about how to cre always create highly engaging content that attracts high quality clients, there will be a link below for our program, Strategic Content Simplified. So check it out. To export your videos with the correct settings, go to Export, File Name, Location, make sure it's where you want it. The format has to always be at H.264. Under Video, go to More. Click render at max depth, click use max render quality, and then export. And if you found this tutorial valuable, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to learn more about video marketing, content strategy, and online business. See you in the next one.